The ArcGIS API for JavaScript allows you to create dynamic applications and custom visualizations to explore your data in unique ways. And this allows you to bring your data to life through interactive maps, charts, animations, and more. So today we're gonna to take a look at some demographic data, specifically looking at age and income in Los Angeles. This layer contains California population data by block group with over 20,000 features and 350 fields, including a field for the number of males and females at each age. It also includes fields such as the household income for members of a certain age range and the median household income for that block group. Instead of being overwhelmed by the amount of data here, we are going to use this data set to capture how age and income relate and structure themselves around the city. And we will use the power of the JavaScript API to bring this relationship to life. So here we have our app where we're focusing on age data. Initially, we render the layer using an arcade expression to show the percentage of 18 to 22 year olds in each block group. Using these buttons, we can dynamically update the renderer with the new age range when the button is clicked. Let's take a look at the arcade expression we use to calculate this percentage. So here we create our arcade expression, where we first get the sum of each field in the given age range. Then we divide by the total population and multiply by 100 to get the percentage. This arcade expression should work with any age range, so we can even allow for the user to input a custom age range using the slider here. Updating the renderer dynamically allows us to see really interesting patterns, like how millennials live primarily near the freeways in West Los Angeles. This map highlights areas where high percentages of a given age range exist, but it can also be interesting to see areas with a low percentage of this population. We can do this by switching to an above and below color ramp. Now, if we click children, we can see that compared to the surrounding neighborhoods, downtown LA has significantly less kids. This chart on the right here shows more specific population data for the block groups within this buffer. And as we update the buffer, a statistic query is executed to get the sum of all males and females at each age within the buffer radius. So here we're creating our query on the feature layer view. Um, we set our statistic definitions that we defined earlier from the age fields. We set our um, buffer to be the query geometry, and then we can execute the query features function and use the results to populate our chart. I just wanna point out that that's 170 different fields that we are getting the statistics for. And while that might seem like a lot, the query still executes and updates the chart so quickly. So this powerful querying capability supports these rich dynamic visualizations that we created earlier and really helps bring our data to life. For instance, we said the number of children in downtown Los Angeles was much less than the surrounding areas. And now we can look at the age pyramid and see that this, that supports this data. If we switch back to the college age range, we see UCLA's campus light up in bright purple. And we see a really interesting um, population pyramid there that shows that college age people are the primary people living there. Now onto the income tab. When we switch to this tab, we update the renderer using Arcade to show the predominant income range in each block group. Similar to the other tab, the user can choose an age range they wanna see the predominant income for, and the renderer will quickly update. As we click through these age ranges, we see a pretty interesting yet predictable story. Younger ages start out making less money, they make more as they get older, and then as we start to reach retirement age, people bring in less income. But there are some interesting areas on the map here where the predominant income is the same, regardless of the age range. And like this block group containing Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles consistently shows an income of less than $15,000. Or certain block groups in Malibu in the Pacific Palisades, where the income is predominantly above $200,000, no matter the age range. And these spatial patterns start to show a larger problem of income disparities in Los Angeles. Over here, we allow the users to um, filter by the median income using some of the new layer effects that were recently added to the API. 
When I turn on the filter, block groups where the median income falls within the income range are highlighted, while the other features are dimmed. Let's take a look at the code. So here we're setting an effect on the feature layer view, where we can define a filter where the median income is greater than the minimum slider value and less than the maximum slider value. With the features that are included in this filter, we will set the effect to highlight and um, add more color to those features. And for the features that are excluded, we will blur and dim those features. So these effects are applied as soon as I update the slider, and we can hit play to quickly animate through the data. And as the data is animated, we can see a pattern of money moving. The lower median income tends to be around downtown Los Angeles, and as the median income gets higher, it starts to slowly move away from downtown until it reaches places like the hills of Brentwood and the Palisades. The stories and data sets like this come to life when their spatial patterns are revealed, and the ArcGIS API for JavaScript allows you to create applications to explore and understand these patterns. Thank you.